In this video we show you how to update your Samsung Galaxy S3 with the latest software. Now, there's two main ways of doing that, the first of which is to connect your device to a computer that's connected to the internet and update through the Samsung Keys software. Now that's all well and good but nowadays it's very rare for you to actually need to physically connect your device to a computer so you can also connect it to the update server via a Wi-Fi or 3G connection on your phone and this is how most people update their device. Now with this option there are kind of two parts to it. You can manually search for the update or let the phone check regularly and tell you when there is an update. So to manually search from your home screen click menu click settings and scroll through the list to about device. Within about device you've got software update at the top you can click this. You've got an option here regarding Wi-Fi only it's advisable to do an update uh, via Wi-Fi only simply because um, of the size of the file and the impact that it could have on your data connection and the time it takes to download. But to check for an update you click update and you ideally need to have Wi-Fi switched on so assuming you've got that switched on click update and it will go and check to see whether an update is available for you. And as you can see there is an update available here and because we're connected to Wi-Fi it's now actually going to download it. So you can see that it's actually 8.58 megabytes in size. Now if you hadn't clicked update, if there was an update available the device would tell you because every so often it does connect to the servers and check for updates and it tells you and you get an icon similar to uh, that there to show that an update is available, you'll then get a pop-up on screen um, to explain to you that an update is available and at all times it will explain the software update and, and what it's doing. So here we go, it's downloaded it, we can do the update and it tells us that during this time um, the phone will not be available, etc, etc. Um, you also tells you here if this update fails you can easily update your device via Samsung Keys as I mentioned. So install now, I'm going to click yes. This device will be rebooted. So we're just going to let that reboot. So you'll see here that it's just updating the device that's downloaded. It's actually running through the uh, update procedure as demonstrated by the Android figure here. The update procedure can vary in terms of its length of time depending on how big the update is. Um, it's not crucial to update your phone to the latest software but it is advisable because that should ensure that you're getting maximum performance out of the device in terms of things from battery life to stability of the programs um, so it's well worth uh, updating your device when an update is available to you. So once it's rebooted you may find that it uh, continues to do things such as this so it's actually checking uh, some of the files and optimizing them as you can see here and it will run through a different number depending on the update size and what it's doing but you just have to let this run through the procedure until it's done so it's advisable again when you're performing an update um, to ensure you've got a little bit of time on your side just in case it takes a little bit longer as long as you've got half an hour Generally, that should be enough to do most updates. Um, sometimes they can take an hour, um, but uh, it really does depend. So once the update has uh, completed, you'll be taken back to uh, your lock screen, and you should get a message like so to say that it's updated. If it had failed, it would tell you, um, and then you could always try connecting your device via a cable to a computer and update, or trying it over the... Uh, wireless connection once more, but then your device is updated and ready to use with the latest version of the software.